मिस्टर चेयरमैन आई रेडिली कंसीड द फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर्स क्लेम दैट एज ही वॉज टिल रिसेंटली द मिनिस्टर फॉर कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री ही नोज मच मोर अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द बिल बिफोर अस देन एनी ऑफ अस as for the distinguished friend who sits behind him and who knew more of this subject than he himself did he has virtually expressed his opinion in the few interruptions that he made when my honorable friend was speaking i am not going to cross swords with the finance minister but i want information on two or three points he pointed out the reasons for the increase in the price of cloth one was the increase in the price of cotton and the other the increasing demand for cloth i understand that a part of the increase is also due to the increase in the price of coal i want to know to what extent this factor is responsible for the increase that has taken place in the price of cloth it may not be sufficient to account for the actual rise but we should know to what extent coal is responsible for the upward trend in the price of cloth sir the finance minister seems to think that the only permanent remedy for the existing state of things is additional production of cloth but as this production cannot be brought about quickly it was necessary to devise some method which would be of immediate effect and would help partly in controlling inflation and partly in mopping up a part of the profits that would otherwise go to the cloth dealers to what extent the excise duty will be passed on to the consumer i do not think anybody can say with certainty i made some inquiry about the price of cloth when the discussion on the present bill was going on in the lok sabha and i understood that it had not affected the bazaar in any way it is quite possible however that in a week or two we may get more disquieting information we may find that the price of cloth is beginning to go up further which would be a proof of the fact that the price was being passed on to the consumer at the same time it is possible that the cloth dealer may not be able to pass on the entire duty to the consumer the expenditure that government will incur in connection with the 12th five year plan will be on a large scale then the expenditure incurred by it in connection with the 11th five year plan the money in the hands of the public will therefore go on progressively increasing there is no possibility therefore of the demand for cloth going down indeed i think the finance minister himself said that it was quite possible that in a short time the consumption might go up to about 20 meters per head the finance minister said that he could not suggest any quick remedy 
he would try to find out whether there was any additional spindleage in the country if there was he would see that it was brought into use immediately i did not hear him say that if there was any additional loomage in the country he would see to it that was made use of but i trust that what he meant was that if there was any additional spindleage or additional loomage it would be made the fullest use of he also said that as regards new spindles and new looms it would take from 12 to 18 months to get them i remember sir that when shri t t krishna machari dealt with this matter as minister for commerce and industry he made the announcement that the mills would be allowed to increase their production of cloth so far as i remember by 200 million meters only and that this cloth that he referred to on pain of some punishment could not be used inside the country but would have to be used entirely for export if any mill owner sold his cloth in the country itself he would be subject to certain penalties the prime minister when he referred to the present situation said yesterday that while the government wanted to moderate the shock involved in the employment of more efficient techniques to people who cannot use them at present it was not prepared to put a permanent ban on the employment of higher techniques in the future and that it was not the policy of the government to restrict the production of cloth when consumption was going up it is therefore sir not merely a question of getting more spindles and more looms but of a change in the policy of the government